smaller platforms printed. I don't really know, like, like this is kind of like a main way to do things, sort of like a way, um, like to expand, like to set machines on and power them and stuff. So, um, like, I, I don't know. I would assume, I would think you can get this printer to run when it's off a platform, but maybe I'm wrong. Maybe you can't. Maybe like, like that's the whole basis um, of the platform. So we'll put that down. Now, is that going to like automatically go when it's when sunlight is on? I'm assuming yes, but we do need to power it first. Ooh, hopefully that'll reach. It is just short. That is not a problem though. Oops. We need to go ahead and grab this printer. Do I want to move it? Well, we do, um, but we're going to kind of angle it off that way so it's going to print items uh, off in that general direction right there. There we go. That way we can kind of extend the power system. Hey, why did you not plug in? What's going on here? What's going on? There we go. And then plug in the other side. Please tell me you do have an outlet here. <laughs> okay. So just getting this thing, like, ready has been just, like, whew. It's, this game's time consuming. Very enjoyable, but very time consuming. Very relaxing. Um, kind of, kind of be in a certain mood to play it, I guess. All right, now let's. Uh, I kind of, I want to find some research too. Dang it! I feel like things have been stagnant. Oh, what do we have here? It looks like a, a crashed spaceship. Somebody tried uh, to attempt a landing on this planet. And what I like, really like about the rover is it's got like a ton of juice. I mean, just charging up this little um, l little um, bar here just only consumes just a little bit off of that entire bit of compound, and the battery it doesn't doesn't go away too fast. So we've got a, a broken smelter. What is this? This is salvage. Now, how do I like? There's this broken stuff, and I'm assuming that uh, there's a way for me to like get stuff out of it. I just don't know how yet. Um, I will take the quartz though. I see this shredder, and I'm, I'm, it's leading me to believe that this is how we like drop in broken items that we find, like um, like that broken platform that we have. And it takes two iron, though. I don't believe I've found any iron. Is the problem, huh? Also, I found this little strange uh, research object. Um, we need to activate that. You cannot, or at least in my little rover buggy, I, I don't know what I want to call it yet. Um, store, store like any. Any things that I find on there? I had to walk this all the way back to the base, by the way. <laughs> so, uh, without further ado, yes, we'll start the research on this. Um, I'd like to find more artifacts. And I don't think I found anything new. Quartz, see, we could probably smelt that into a bit more glass. Well, I do believe the next step is going to, um, after the smelting furnace, would be the uh, soil centrifuge. Again, no idea what this is going to do, and atmospheric condenser. Um, I just feel like I'm making progress somehow, so we'll get that going. Now, soil centrifuge, I do have the, the uh, components for that. Let's see uh, what it's going to take. One, what was it, aluminum and um, smelting furnace? One aluminum and two compound. I've got one compound on me back over here to my storage. Um, I don't know if I have any aluminum though. Or compound. Oh, okay, hold on. There's another compound. Um, but aluminum. Where did I find that? That was that was that rare stuff and I think I used it. This is, I found this at like the end or I say the end of the main cave, but I have been like going down to this green bit for a long time now. Dynamite. Oh, well, this could only end one way. This is going to be awesome. Let's, let's kind of scoot back a little bit. Out of my oh, shit. Whoa, that scared me. <laughs> I didn't know it was going to be that fast. And... Is that all? Okay, well, that was a good experiment. And hey, we were so deep, I thought I was going to visit Satan there for a second. Um, now, these things were spitting poison at me. I don't, I'm not really a big fan of them. Whoa, whoa, it's already hitting me kind of gone red around the edges and I think I see right over there I think that's like a little I think that's some kind of research that I want let's see if we can get to it oh actually I might have gotten lucky found some here what is this what are you <gasps> can I carry you oh can I carry you oh you might be stuck actually let's try that oh hell yeah all right get back to, to the base 
Well, I've been down in the mines. I haven't found any aluminum yet. That stuff might must be like really rare. I did find a couple of um, like research objects I found that you could store on your little thing. Um, I don't know if they'll get blown away or not. We'll plunk this guy in here. Um, we've got a ton of research like um, bites to spend. I just um, we have a severe shortage of materials though. Um, well, like that and like I really don't know what you know what I'm doing yet, and I keep saying that. But okay, so four thousand bites and climbing. Let's go ahead and snag or unlock the oxygen filter. We've gotten almost everything on this page. There's quite a quite a few pages to go. Um, gotten that the work light. Let's see the oxygen filter, all of our power generation stuff, power cells, small battery, lithium. We still haven't found any of that yet or anything to smelt into it. Maybe I had. Might as well unlock that since we've got the bytes. Now, wide mod. Don't really know what those do. It sounds like some kind of modification for um, maybe a shuttle or my vehicle. So we'll go ahead and might as well do that too, I guess. Um, I don't know what I, what, what I plan on doing. Because I, I, I figured out that since you can store things on these platforms as well, like the extenders. And... Uh, since it's like, oh shit, the storm's rolling in. Since it's like a, a learning experience. Anything I craft that I don't know what I'm going to be doing with or can't figure out how to use, um, I'm just going to like store on a platform. Now we've got to wait until the storm blows over. So I noticed a huge spike in uh, bite increase when the power is full. So I think that, like power supply has a direct input on the amount of bites you can get. Also... Um, we've got the glass. Let's go ahead and make a small oxygen tank. Now, if I'm my guessing is correct, this should allow me to kind of like fill like portable oxygen, so to speak. So if that's full and I detether, I'll be using this little oxygen thing. Yeah, see, my main thing is full. Um, it's reusable. I'm trying to figure out how long that lasts. If there's like a, a meter on it or or something. I don't know. Oh, there it is. Okay, it's just... Okay, gotcha. There it is. Oh, my goodness. Finally, we're gonna hover up all this lovely jubbly here. Get this back to the base, smelt it, and get us some crafting going. Right, we've got um, quite a few research artifacts going. This is a good thing. Oh, man, I'm feeling really productive now. Also, got another uh, storage up there. Let's go ahead. I found some more clay, too, but I want to get the aluminium, aluminium, aluminum, um, whatever it is, same stuff. Get that smelted first. It's kind of, come on now. Just, yeah, just pop right on in there. And uh, the smelter does consume quite a bit of power. I, I, well, a lot of bit of power and then also we're gonna smelt up some clay finally man that uh, aluminum took me forever to find it felt like it did so we want to make the soil centrifuge again no idea what it's gonna do but it should be interesting okay so we've got another platform going and in the meantime you look this look at this it gives you a little description here separates resources from soil so I might need to make a few more soil canisters, and I'm guessing we just plonk those on there. Um, but it's going to require power, and we're kind of kind of having a power problem, uh, especially at night. Um, some zinc, I think batteries would alleviate that, uh, having my solar generators power them. Um, but we do need to make a few more of these. They only require copper uh, solar generators. So let's move this platform. I've already done a bit more extending. I don't want to put that there. Uh, let's put you right, right, kind of like right. Spin you around just a little bit right there. Boosh. Okay, unpack. I want to keep that nice and close. It's kind of like a little storage platform, if you will. Um, ah, that's kind of uh, a little bit too close. Can I move it? <laughs> Can I move it? No, it's like once it's down, it's down, I guess. It's fine. I just figure like this... They'd be too close to interact with each other, uh, the plugs, and that's on one end. No, 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 they, oh, oh, we got it, we got it, we got it, it's right there. <laughs> it's really finicky. Oh, come on. Oh, no, never mind, good. That's good, that's, that's actually about a bit more where I wanted it. I didn't know it was going to be that close. Okay, okay, we've got that done. Now we need to drag this guy centrifuge, probably create a couple more solar generators, depending on how big it is. 
I had planned on sticking the solar generators on the same platform. Um, doesn't look like that's going to be possible, though. Maybe if the platform was a bit larger. That's fine, though. I'll unpack this guy. Oh, yeah. Look at this. Look at this thing. This is a big monstrosity. Uh, it looks like it only takes one, one soil canister per thing. Oh, I don't know. Hold on. What is this? What does this do? I don't know. I... <laughs> All right, to fill this guy up, um, we can just pretty much go anywhere and dig a hole, but I don't want to just dig like a random hole. I want to keep all the hole digging, unnecessary hole digging, kind of just like, you know, in the mine. Um, and who knows, we might even come across some rare resources. Now, this should be full. If I look at my thing, yeah, it's green. Okay, and you can see the little bar that goes around it. This mine goes pretty deep, but like the deepness like was where that dynamite exploded, and there's like two other paths that kind of snake around. And that's where I found my my uh, what do you call it? My um, aluminum. All right, so we might need to make a few more of these canisters as well. Put you there, and that is going to extract resources just from anything. Can I? Am I going to get anything from that? Well, let's see how this thing works. That's really neat. <laughs> Looks like it's going to take a while. It reminds me of like those DNA processing machines. Alright, in the meantime, let's get us up a couple more solar generators and plonk them on our storage platform. Let's see, one and two should do it. Uh, small solar, right? There we go. There's one. Doesn't take too long. Make another one. while it's daytime and let's see we've already got that one going um, what about we've got a spare research container we do we'll move you oh no I hear a windstorm coming in uh oh uh oh uh oh come on get that on there let me activate you oh actually no let's let's wait for it to blow over first okay we've got the research going let's put our solar generators down here this is like an entire Kind of like a power platform, if you will. Just kind of turned into that. This is the immediate one I found. I haven't been able to... Actually, speaking of unlocking things... Whoa, my goodness, look at the bites. We've accumulated near, near, nearly 5,000. Um, let's find something. Large storage. Well, we're not really having storage issues at the moment. We've got three mediums. Um, got to find something to, um, to unlock. How about... Chemistry lab? See, I don't... What is that at the bottom? Tungsten? Yeah, I haven't found any tungsten yet. I think we're probably a ways off from that. Same with the trade platform. Iron. Still haven't found any iron yet. Medium generator. Um, that, again, requires going to require tungsten. Lithium and zinc. Haven't found any of that. We could just finish off this uh, page right here. How, many, how much do we need? Uh, quite a bit, actually. Terrain analyzer. What the heck is that? That sounds really cool. I want to get that. Um, while we're at it, I'm just going to try to unlock everything on this, this this mod part right here. Okay, good. Now we've only got two things left on this entire first page. I guess it's kind of how I'm uh, basing my progress. My uh, goodness. Now this compound thing, what did this... It's got out clay from dirt. Holy crap, that got a lot of clay too. Nice. Now, I've gotten a little hunch here. I don't know if it's going to be true, but I think that soil thingy is going to um, give you resources based on the color of soil. I felt like I filled it mostly up with the brown, so I want to go down in here, the brown soil like clay. I want to see what the green gets me. Maybe some copper, or uh, there is also blue soil as well. So I'm going to see if this theory will hold true or not. Oh, you can pick! Oh, okay, that makes... See, now that makes a lot more sense. I was like... I just noticed that other option right there. Examine. Examine that. So we can choose what we want to get out of that. It's actually a lot cooler. This is a really good investment. I wish I would have built this a lot sooner. Um, we need organic, clay, quartz. Uh, it doesn't really give you a whole lot to choose from at the moment. Maybe there are mods that we can attach to it to increase the... Um, the output, the, uh, the amount of different choices we can get. 
Now I ordered it to make graphite. This is something I have not found yet, and we're going to smelt this and throw it right in the first unit there in the smelter and see what, what we can make in this. I'm hoping uncommon. I don't know. I don't know if it's going to actually be able to smelt or not. Well, we're running into um, quite a few power issues at night. Like the research comes to a halt. Um, the solar panels clearly just don't work at night. So we're going to make a little medium platform here and we're going to try to alleviate this with some, um, what do you call it? Wind turbines. Wind, wind little wind thingies. We'll get this powered up. I've already got the glass ready to go. We can just give it the, um, press the big red button and there's one, there's two. Now this should run at night, should actually provide a really good like increase in power when there's like a storm, a windstorm coming through. Very inactive right now, converts wind energy. I don't know, maybe, maybe I need to move that where, let's try that, hold on. Let me try to move this medium platform, medium platform, it's not letting me grab it. That's fine, okay. I was just gonna try to move it over here where I saw the plants moving. I just assumed that there'd be more wind here. Ammonium, now that is a new one. I have not seen that before. What's the sound, what is, what's making the sound? I'm kind of nervous, is it this blue thing here? No, that seemed to be it. Maybe it's just the ammonium. Now, if I have a look at my bag, this is natural resource. It doesn't say it's smeltable. Um, hmm, I don't know what I'm going to be able to do with the ammonium yet. Okay, let's see what this um, ammonium is all about. Please tell me you can smelt a new ammonium. Hmm, if I look in my little handy recipe catalog here. Ammonium. What is ammonium used for? Uh, I would assume maybe some type of fuel or maybe um, you got to combine it with something somehow some way. <laughs> now the only thing I can gather um, with what to like combine uh, ingredients and I'm guessing that's the only way we can make certain things would be to have this chemistry lab. It's 1250 or 1250 bytes. We're gonna have to find a bit more research for that. And I'm going to have to get my happy behind, my happy astroneering spelunking behind back down into these caves. I almost got lost last time. Tethers going all over the place.